Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you today, but I'm gonna be reviewing the Kosori pressure cooker. And I'm also gonna be comparing it to the Instant Pot. So just for reference sake, I got my Instant Pot about a year and a half ago, and I absolutely love it. I have used it multiple times, obviously. Um, and then the Kosori one, I just got about two to three weeks ago, and I've used it four or five times. Um, so, that kind of like gives you an idea. I can't tell you the longevity of it or anything like that, um, but I will tell you all of my thoughts that I have so far and what I've noticed um, so far. So first of all, this is the, they're both the six quart um, ones and the Kosori is called an eight in one and um, this particular one, like the eight in one is comparable to the Instant Pot seven in one. Um, because of the fact that it it can um, it has like the yogurt making feature, so like you can um, adjust the pressure. So I actually only have the six in one instant pot. So while I can kind of compare these two as far as like um, the build and like the material of them, I can't really compare their um, like functions as well. So I'm going to be comparing their functions to the seven in one. Um, because I, I obviously want to compare this fairly, you know. Um, I don't want to compare it to like a product that literally says it's not as good. So um, I will be comparing the 8-in-1 to the 7-in-1 um, in Instant Pot. I really hope that makes sense. Um, so first of all, the Kasori retails for $79.99 on Amazon. And um, the Instant Pot 7-in-1 retails for 99 and then just to let you know the six in one retails for 79 also so these two are basically the same price um, but if you are comparing the instant pot that actually compares to the Kasori um, the instant pot is $20 more I really hope that makes sense so the Kasori is called the eight in one pressure cooker and I'll just list the eight different functions that it has. It's a pressure cooker, a rice cooker, a yogurt maker, saute pan, food warmer, slow cooker, steamer, and a hot pot. So basically the seven in one instant pot is all of those things except for it doesn't list the hot pot. Um, and then the six in one is all of those except not the hot pot or the yogurt maker. So um, as far as like the amount of functions, I feel like this is definitely just the same as the 7-in-1. Even though it lists hot pot, I feel like, I don't know, that's kind of just like an extra thing. I feel like the 7-in-1 can be used as a hot pot. And by hot pot, they mean like you can use it for like fondue and stuff like that. So as far as their um, ability to like adjust the pressure, the 6-in-1, like I said, you can't adjust the pressure at all. The Instant Pot 6-in-1, you cannot adjust the pressure. It's high pressure only. The seven in one, you have low and high pressure. So in the Instant Pot seven in one, there's two different pressure settings. The Kosori has six different pressure settings. So um, I guess supposedly like things that you should like put at higher pressures are like meats and then like lower pressure is like vegetables. Um, so you have a very like wide range of like um, customization with the pressure. So I feel like that's definitely um, an advantage that the Kosori would have. And then the temperature settings is something that I really, really like appreciate about the Kosori because um, in the Instant Pot you have like low, medium, and high. as That's like as customized as you can get with the temperature settings. Um, with the Kosori you can literally set an exact temperature. So like the other day I was warming up some soup and I had to like put it on to like warm up really fast and like go feed my daughter. And it was the first time I was using um, the Kosori to warm up something. And so I pressed reheat and then it said like 212 degrees, like it automatically like said 212 degrees. And I was like, well, 212 would be boiling. So maybe I'll do like 200 degrees. Um, and then I came back and like the soup was literally like the perfect eating temperature. So it was so cool how I could just like set the exact temperature that I wanted the soup to warm up to and that's definitely something that I can't do with the pressure cooker or with the instant pot. Okay so now I'll get into the different programs that they have. So like their smart 
programs. Um, so as you'll see, the Kosori has a ton more buttons. <laughs> so this might be like good for some, this might be like a little bit more intimidating for others. Um, I actually really appreciate it. So according to their different websites, the Kosori has 17 smart programs and the Instant Pot has 14. Now, I feel like their ver their definition of smart programs must be different because like the Kosori has way more than three extra buttons. Like the Kosori has a ton of buttons. <laughs> so the buttons that I noticed that the Instant Pot doesn't have that the Kosori does as far as the smart programs are the brown rice function, which I think is great. Um, the steam vegetable and steam potatoes, so it has two different steamer functions, not just the um, steam steamer. And then it has a pasta slash boil function, and it has a hot pot, which I already said that. Um, and then also the instant pot has a porridge button that the Kosori one doesn't have. So the Kosori definitely has way more um, buttons. I don't know, like for some, maybe if like you're going from the Instant Pot to the Kosori, it'll be like a little bit like challenging and like a learning curve. But I think if you're like a new user and you're getting a uh, pressure cook for the first time, like there's going to be a learning curve anyway. So I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Like the extra buttons don't scare me. And if anything, I kind of like them because they just make things easier for me. All you have to do is just look at the different buttons and read them. So yeah, I kind of appreciate the extra like smart programs. Um, and then as far as um, the delay start, they both have a 24 hour delay start. So I know that's important for some. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about what actually comes with each pressure cooker. So with the Instant Pot, you get the pressure cooker, you get two spoons, like a ladle and a rice spoon, I think, and a measuring cup, and then you get a trivet. With the Kosori pressure cooker, you get the pressure cooker, two spoons, um, a measuring cup, a trivet. It's almost like a, well, I'll show it here. It's like kind of like a steamer mixed with like a trivet. I actually really like theirs. Um, and then you also get a glass lid and an extra ceiling ring. So I feel like this is a huge advantage over the Instant Pot because if you ever use your pressure cooker for um, the slow cooker setting or if you want to like store food in the fridge, you want to have the glass lid. If you wanted the glass lid for the Instant Pot, it's an extra $12. Um, and then the, the extra ceiling ring is $8 on instant, for the Instant Pot. So that's an extra $20. The Kasori comes with it. Um, that's all included. So that is like huge to me because I use the glass lid all the time and the extra ceiling ring, that'll definitely come in use for sure. So as far as like the contents that they give you with each pressure cooker, the Kasori is definitely a lot more and a better value. Um, some other things that I noted was um, in the Kasori, they have a red pin. The pin that pops up when it comes up to pressure is red and it's really easy to see. Like it's so easy to tell if it's up or down. And the Instant Pot, I feel like it could be like, I don't know, you have to look really closely to see if it's up, at least to me, that's how I feel. Um, and for like a newbie, you might not know what up or down looks like, but with the Kasori, and it's bright red and you can tell if it's up or down. So, and then also another thing is that on the Kasori, you have to press start. If you have an Instant Pot, you know that you don't have to press start. You you click the function that you want and then it automatically starts after a few seconds. Um, for the Kasori, you have to press start. Personally, I prefer that because <laughs> I feel like with the Instant Pot, I'm always like, oh, I have to hurry up and do it before it like starts going. Um, so like if I'm adjusting my time or whatever, and then I'm like, wait, did I want to do like 10 or 15 minutes? And then I want to look at my phone and like see what the recipe said or whatever. And then it starts going. And <laughs> anyway, I actually prefer to have to press start. Um, so you can press the function, you can select the different temperature, you can select the different pressure setting, and then you press start. So that's something that's definitely different, but I prefer the Kasori over the Instant Pot in regards to that. Um, so I would say like the cons, I don't know, I guess maybe a con of the Kasori is that it has more buttons, so it might be more intimidating to somebody. Um, 
but other than that, I, I try to like say all the differences between them. Um, they feel, they both feel like the exact same quality. Um, very, very well made, both of them do. Um, the vents work just the same. They look a little bit different, but they work exactly the same. Um, oh, I will add that on the Kasori, the top is all plastic. And on the Instant Pot, there's metal parts, and so I've totally burned myself on the Instant Pot. And you really can't do that on the Kasori, at least like I'm touching the top of the lid. Um, so that's kind of a bonus. <laughs> um, I will say that a perk of having the Instant Pot is that there is a much bigger community. And so it's going to be easier to like find answers if you have questions, I feel like. Because there's so many Instant Pot Facebook groups. And um, there's just a lot of people that have it. And so you're probably going to like have a really easy time just like Googling for, to find an answer. And um, with the Kasori, not as many people have it. It's not as big of a community. However, they do have a Facebook page and I will link that page down below. Um, and I'm sure that you could ask on there and people could help you out. Um, but I just, I'm trying to be like really picky because I want you to like know that this is totally honest. And I'm not getting paid to say anything good about Kosori, but to be honest, it's just a better deal. Like, you'll pay $80 and you'll get the um, glass lid and the extra ceiling ring. Or you can pay $100, $99, and not get that. And it's basically like the same exact product. So in order to buy the same, the equivalent of this in Instapot, it would be $120 once you add in the glass lid and the extra ceiling ring or you pay 80 so that is a wonderful deal I feel like um, it's on Amazon and I will have their link um, below for their Amazon and it's um, prime so if you have a prime then you get free shipping and $79.99 I honestly like I don't think you can beat it it's a super good deal and I actually I'm this sounds really bad but I'm probably gonna give my instant pot to my mom because I don't know. I told her when I was getting the, the Kosori, I was like, maybe after I'm done, I'll give it to you. Because I don't really need two pressure cookers. But now I'm like, I honestly am, like, I would rather keep the Kosori. And that's going to be my, like, primary one. Um, but who knows? Maybe I need two. Should I keep both of them? Let me know down below. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys found this review helpful. And if you are in the market for a pressure cooker, maybe you could um, look into the Kasori more. If you have any more questions or if you have thoughts, if you tried out either one of these and you have thoughts um, that are either agreeing or disagreeing with mine, let me know down below. Check out the info box if you want to see the Amazon link, the Facebook group for Kasori. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.